Greetings. Today we're going to talk about some source material for your transcribing fun. I've been getting a lot of questions like, where do I start? What do I use to transcribe? Well, I'll tell you what, you have to use high quality source material because the higher quality listening and transcribing you do, the higher quality your voice is going to be. So, let's begin with my recommendations. Now, this is like picking your favorite star out of the sky or picking your favorite grain of sand from the beach. This is the one that I like. Yeah, but there's 18 billion others that are just as good. So, I'm picking ones that are classics from established masters. You can't go wrong with these. Okay, let's start with Charlie Parker. There's Now's the Time. It's the slow one. And also, now's the time, here's the fast one. You can't beat Bird playing Billy's Bounce. And O Privov is also a wonderful source of material. So, that's Charlie Parker, who I see as the seed of um, Bebop. He's the one that sort of established that style. A word needs to be said. You know, everything that I just picked was blues, and everything else I'm going to pick is blues. Because if, if there's the giant tree of jazz, you know where the taproot is? It's in the blues. And so everything I give you today is going to be uh, blues, 12-bar blues, and there's one 24-bar blues. Uh, but I think that form lends itself wonderfully to being able to incorporate licks a little bit better because it's such an easy vehicle. Everybody's so comfortable with it that when the licks are served up on the 12-bar blues, it's like, oh, look at that. Isn't that a nice lick? And you can see it easily without a cloud of changes getting in your way. Okay, so there was Bird. Now let's move on to some of the other players. There's Coltrane, who I consider the next fellow. Um, there's Blue Train and also Bessie's Blues, which we have already done some transcribing from. Train is the fellow who changed jazz next. Uh, here's also some Sonny Stitt and Oscar Peterson. Sonny Stitt and Oscar Peterson did one album together, and I'll tell you what, if you had nothing but that album and you went to a desert island for 10 years and you listened to nothing but that, you would come back being able to play bop and speak bop because that's just amazing. Those two fellows are masters. Here's some Miles Davis featuring Sonny Rollins. And here's a little bit of Cannonball. There's a slow blues and also a medium blues. So there you have it. That's a little bit of other voices to mix it up. Because remember, you're not trying to become Bird. You're not trying to become Sonny Rollins. You're trying to become you. And the more influences you have, the better it's going to be. Now, you know what? I'm going to take it into reverse for a minute. These next two selections, I don't even know whether I would transcribe anything on there. I'm not even sure you would need to. But if you take a listen to these players, they communicate the blues very strongly. Now, Dexter Gordon interacts with the rhythm section very nicely, and Gene Ammons and Jackie McLean play a very tasty, basic blues. Now again, I'm not sure that I would use any of these as actual source material, but I'll tell you what, if you're looking for a way to get the blues form to be obvious to you, these two are going to be so laid out that listening to them makes the blues just a part of your subconscious. Okay, now, finally, let's do a little bit of cutting edge stuff. This is some source material from the modern era, and let's start with Michael Brecker, who in 1984 sat in at, I'm not sure where even, maybe North Texas, I don't know, but the players are really good, and it is a student rhythm section, and he plays Sunny Moon for two, a nice blues. Um, okay, in 1997, Chris Potter and John Schofield. And from 2007, Eric Alexander, and it's this is that 24-bar blues, and it's a sort of extended form where each bar is worth two. Okay, I hope that helped. I hope that that provides some quality source material for transcribing all on the blues, uh, because that form is so, it's such a nice tray to set your licks upon and say, oh look, this is a nice one for you. 
and I hope you enjoy. I hope that, that provides you with many hours of fun transcribing and cherry-picking your favorite licks. Good luck!